Time now for a check of your pinpoint weather and traffic together. We've been hovering around two, three degrees this morning. How warm is it going to get today, TJ? I think we're looking at a warm up all the way up to about 18 degrees. We've been kind of talking about the cold in relation to the rest of the country this morning. Alaska, it's actually warmer there than it is in Providence, Rhode Island. Down in Houston, they've got winter storm warnings for sleet and freezing rain. That's pretty rare for them to get some winter storm warnings. So you can see the extent of the cold across the country this morning. One in Smithfield, four in Providence, five in New Bedford. The feel like temperatures, what it feels like to your exposed skin, negative 10 in Smithfield, negative three in Providence, negative seven in Newport. The live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, fortunately that's quiet. We do have some clouds passing overhead. You can see that we've got uh, lots of cloudiness there, but you can also see the sun reflecting on the uh, upper parts of Narragansett Bay there in the port near the port of Providence. Four degrees at Emerald Bay Retirement Living in Cumberland. They've got a wind light. About one mile an hour, got a gust all the way up to eight miles an hour earlier in the morning. The satellite radar picture showing this little patch of cloud that developed over the last several hours passing on through. It'll be moving in and out, and I think we're looking at some improving conditions for the rest of the morning into the afternoon with lots of sunshine, but really ineffective sun. We're not looking at a big warm up today. We'll talk about temperatures in a second. Let's talk about clouds and precipitation right now. Looks dry through the nighttime tonight and into the morning tomorrow. Here we are during the morning commute on Friday with clear skies and into the afternoon of Friday. No problems at all. Now we take you into Saturday. We'll be clouding up early with some snow and maybe even some rain showers along the south coast. Yeah, we're actually going to be warming up that much on Saturday and we could be seeing some small accumulations from this snow. We'll talk about that more in just a second as well. Let's track the temperatures. 17 in Providence at around noontime today. Overnight tonight, plummeting back into the single digits, about 4 degrees at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Now in the afternoon tomorrow, up around 16 degrees. So no big warm-ups in sight for the next two days. That arrives on Saturday. Your morning commute, frigid. Allow your car a little extra time to warm up. 18 degrees this, this afternoon on the east side. 17 degrees in Central Falls. Over into Barrington, Warren, Bristol, upper eight, upper teens rather, 18. I almost said upper 80s. That'd be nice. 18 in Warwick, 18 degrees in Cranston. Along the South Shore, temperatures should be topping out at around 19 in Charlestown. Very cold everywhere, including up in northern Rhode Island, where I think we'll find temperatures of around 18 in Johnston, 17 in Cumberland, southeastern Massachusetts. We should find temperatures over here about 19 in Fall River, 18 degrees in Taunton. Here's a live pinpoint Doppler 12, seven day future cast. And again on Friday, we are expecting more cold weather. Temperatures in the the single digits early all the way up to about 16 degrees in the afternoon on Saturday all the way up to 34 and there is the possibility for some light snow accumulations on Saturday and maybe mixing with rain along the south coast and then it gets a little colder Sunday a little snow Monday and then bitterly cold again Tuesday and Wednesday you can get the updated future cast from Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca he's in later today on Eyewitness News live at 5 let's get a look now at that morning